Welcome back. Sean O'Connell and Randy Couture and Kenny Florian Professional Fighters League playoff mixed martial arts action. Without further ado, our main event. All right, Hard Rock, let's get our final fight to the cage. Introducing first, Jenna Fabian. Jenna Fabian back in Auckland, New Zealand with City Kickboxing. Several champions training out of that camp. She said her camp was brutal and tough, but she's glad it was that way. You want to train hard and fight easy. She feels like she's raised her level up and she's ready to face Kayla Harrison. She believes she has a skill set, the footwork, the range, and the conditioning to get it done here tonight. Jenna Fabian is not just a former Muay Thai world champion with great striking credentials. She's an incredible athlete. And you can't just have skill to beat someone like Kayla Harrison. You also have to have strength and athleticism and explosiveness and all the things that you're you can't necessarily get through training. She's got that plus that camp behind her. And her opponent, Kayla Harrison. There is the undefeated Kayla Harrison. Trains down the road from here over at American top team and she just has those same kind of qualities that some of the greats like the Wayne Gretzky's and the Michael Jordan's have and you can't stop them you can only hope to contain and you know exactly what she's gonna do she's trying to get to that clinch put you on your back and there's her training partner Amanda Nunes The only other woman on the planet who really can reasonably lay claim yes. to baddest you know what around. We take a look at our tail of the tape for this main event brought to you by carparts.com. Both of these women 31 years of age. Jenna Fabian is four inches taller. She has a distinct reach advantage in the arm. Both weighed in at the lightweight limit of 156 pounds. Lillian Garcia, take it away. Fight fans, this is the main event of the night. And this fight is sanctioned by the Florida Athletic Commission in the women's lightweight division. Introducing to you first, Fighting out of the blue corner. She is a Muay Thai world champion. Standing at six feet tall, she officially weighs in at 156 pounds. She has a professional record of four wins and only one loss with three victories by way of knockout. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, here is your number three seed, Jenna Fabian. Her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. She is a two-time Olympic gold medalist in judo. Sitting at 5'8", she officially weighs in at 155 and one half pounds. She has an undefeated rough spotless record of 10 and 0, including eight wins by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Middletown, Ohio, here is your number two seed and your 2019 PFL Women's Lightweight World Champion, Kayla Harrison! Your referee in charge, Andrew Glenn. Andrew Glenn oversees our main event, equipped with the ref cam. He can take us inside the smart cage for an up-close and personal look. Kayla Harrison in the red, Jenna Fabian in the black and gray. USA versus New Zealand, grappler versus striker. Main event underway, two southpaws squaring off. Harrison claims the center of the cage. Jenna Fabian circling to her left. They're both ladies trying to judge that distance. Kayla looking for her way to get on the inside. And of course, Fabian trying to use those 
long limbs to keep Harrison from getting on the inside. Randy, we talk about commitment as Kayla Harrison commits to closing that distance and presses Jenna Fabian up against the cage. Right now, because of pandemic conditions, to get back into New Zealand, you need a permit, an invitation. Jenna Fabian, as of today, doesn't have one. She came here to fight. She might have to do her training camp here for the championship bout to be determined if she can get back into her home country. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. The things that are going on right now are pretty crazy. Kayla got right where she wants to be. Let's see what she can do with this clinch. You see Jenna doing a good job of keeping Kayla's hips away from her. She's got to have that power, those hips up under her. She wants to throw her, trip her, or knock her down. Yeah, Jenna's got to be careful, giving too much space between the back of her legs and the cage. That's where Harrison's going to look for those inside trips. Kayla trying to get an angle, capture those hips. Jenna doing a great job of re-pummeling and not letting her get that position. Kayla's just staying patient, trying to chip away with little short shots to the body, looking for potential. There's a high body her. lock. Kayla looking to change directions. Lands in side control. Kayla Harrison goes right to work. First round almost halfway gone. And Harrison has Jenna Fabian flat on her back. Yeah, this is not where Jenna wants to be, and Kayla will quickly advance into mount here if she's able to create some space on that far side. There's the mount. Harrison steps into the mount here. Laces her legs. Still more than two minutes remaining in round number one. That's a long time to have somebody like Kayla Harrison mounted. Kayla working her way up to high mount now. Started out low mount, bind in. Just kind of got half high and half low. Oh, here's, here's an arm line. attempt. Here it comes. She's going to soften her up with some hammer fists. Jenna does a nice job of getting out of that and getting that arm free. Yeah, she did a good job of turning towards that arm and pulling that elbow into her body. Fabian doing her best to survive here. Ground and pound to soften up the guard from Kayla Harrison. Plants a foot on the mat. More left hands from the top. Full high mount now. Flurry. Big right hands coming down. Jenna Fabian in a tough spot. Can't get her hips back down to the ground. Right, left, right, left, right, left for Kayla Harrison. Flattens out Jenna Fabian straight to her belly. And she's got that wrist handcuffed. Referee stepping in close. Jenna Fabian in big trouble here. That will be enough. One minute left in the first round. And Kayla Harrison once again puts her opponent away. Round and pound for the win. Kayla Harrison, championship bound. Dominant. Dominant. Once she got on the ground, it was all Kayla Harrison. Honestly, once she got to the clinch, yeah. it was all Kayla Harrison. Absolutely. She did a great job of methodically, incrementally putting her in worse and worse and worse positions until she got her where she needed her to finish it. There's your Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. Kayla Harrison, big numbers in the strikes. Most of those on the ground. And of course, the takedown is the difference again for the two-time Olympic judo gold medalist. Rich energy replay here. Here's the body lock. She circles one way, gets Jenna to overcommit with her hips, and then changes directions and pulls her back over her own hips. Eventually climbs to full mount and rains down the ground and pound. Here you see her low mount. She'll start to work her way up. Now she's in high mount. 
very difficult for the person on the bottom to protect themselves unless they're very adept at elbow escaping and getting out of this position. But Kayla's going to make that very difficult. Here she's got a seat belt on the far side, one arm trapped. Referee's seen enough. Kayla Harrison improves to 11 and 0 inside of one round. We'll be back with the official decision. BFL MMA. Fighter performance rating brought to you by Rich Energy. A perfect 100 for Kayla Harrison. She gets the finish inside of the first frame. Hey. Lillian Garcia has the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at four minutes and one second of round number one. Your winner by TKO and clinching a spot in the 2021 PFL World Championship, Kayla Harrison! Here is the Presidente Championship moment.